I'm seeing stars. Whoa, I yelled way too loud and way too fast. I'm seeing stars. <laughs> The thought of clapping Bella Porch's cheeks awoken me from my coma. If I'm ever in a coma and my family's there and they're like, what do we do? Do we do we pull the plug? Do we let him die? Or should we like see if he can stick it out? Just get Bella Porch in the room. Just get her in the room. Do you agree? Yeah! Black Santa agrees. Abuse pig doesn't have shit to say. Jew Llama? How do you fuck you? Jew Llama's really starting to get on my nerves. Who said that? Who the fuck said that? He said Bella Delphine is better than Bella. I bet inside Julama's cage here, snowball cage, I swear it's Bella Delphine's bathwater. You're a sick bastard, Julama. Shouldn't you be celebrating, um, fuck. I forgot what it's called. Kwanzaa? Is it Kwanzaa? What is Kwanzaa? Kwanzaa, a secular festival observed by many African Americans. Wait, what? What did I just look up? Black Santa, are you celebrating this shit? Wait, what the fuck? What? What is the uh Jewish Christmas? Wow, this is sounding bad. Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Okay, I messed that up. Hanukkah, also known as the Festival of Lights, is a Jewish festival commemorating the recovery of Jerusalem and subsequent rededication of the Second Temple at the beginning of the Maccabean Revolt against the Seleucid. Okay, that's a whole lot of fuck. Nonsense. Hey, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Yamaka, Gabaga, Gabagoosh. I don't care you celebrate, baby. As long as you're having a good time, baby. Wait, I can't leave anybody out, though. What do, um, is there a Buddhist Christmas? Buddhists also celebrate their own important holiday on December 8th. Oh, it's already gone. Well, happy late Bodhi Day. Hanukkah 2021 starts Monday, November 29th. I'm so sorry, Julama, bro. I would have celebrated Hanukkah with you if I could have. Wheel of Mutt. Sorry, I'm trying to distract myself from the massive, the massive, Playoff run that we have ahead of us. Playoffs! Three more wins! We are seven and two. We're not actually supposed to be seven and two. We're supposed to be seven and one. But I'm an idiot and I queued up a game thinking I was on my burner account and I was not. I was on my main account. Doesn't really matter because we're in the playoffs. Seven and two. We have the wild card right now. And I'm nervous, dude. Our team is a 91 overall with a 92 defense. We added a 93 left guard thanks to our rage coat wheel last, last episode. I'd love to upgrade Corey Lindsley. Other than that, I really can't make up shit to upgrade. Our team is pretty good. Low key, Sean Taylor could be upgraded, but that is a prestige. It's just like DK Metcalf, bro. We're gonna get blessed with an amazing Sean Taylor card at some point. We just gotta be patient. I could take another corner. I could take another D tackle. Other than that, we look really good. We really do. We got a focus kicker too. And guess what, baby? It's the Christmas playoffs wheel. As you know, we get a juice wheel for making it to the playoffs. Let's see what our first juiced spin is. Oh boy. Top 10 guess age. Nobody invite Chris Hansen over for this. Out of all the celebrities I've met, I will say Chris Hansen has got to be the rudest dude I've ever met. Comes flying in talking about going to jail. All these cameras on my face. Like, dude, I just met you. Shake my hand at least, bro. All right, so this one could be good, but it's hard to say right now. We're going to have to see what this looks like. I'm going to sort the entire auction house by overall one, two, three. Oh, there's not that. Oh, Vernon Butler would actually be huge, bro. So would Will Fuller. I have no idea how old either of them are. Will Fuller is kind of old. Vernon Butler, dude. I don't know. I'm going to guess that Vernon Butler, I'm going to say 28. I'm gonna say Vernon Butler is 28. That would be a huge pickup. Vernon Butler age. 20. 27. He's 27. Tough. Well, I don't want to sh overshoot on Will Fuller either. Let's go Will Fuller 27. Yes! Will, dude, and you know, if I knew my NFL knowledge, they probably were the same draft class if they're both 27, although that might not necessarily be true. But Will Fuller, I'm pretty sure he's nasty. He might be faster than both of my dudes right now. Honestly, that's clutch because those are the only two people on this whole board that I wanted. I didn't want anybody else. So that'll take AJ Green out, which I actually don't mind because I was starting AJ Green a lot and here's my worst wide receiver. 93 speed, yeah. Let's go. Wow, my wide receiver core is fucking disgusting. It's so good. Even Urban Meyer cannot complain about this wide receiver locker room right here. Will Fuller added to the squad. I think that might bump my offense to a 92. I'm not actually sure, but we'll see. Our next wheel spin is gonna come in at... Oh, it's a polymorph. I gotta get rid of three 80 to 88 overall players for one 90 to 94. There's two that I can think of, which is Damian Harris, the 88, and Jonathan Taylor. Taylor, the 80. Who else can we get though? Joe Thune is an 88. Let's go. All right, good. This is why it's huge to actually establish depth at positions in case we get a wheel spin like this. So Will Fuller's in now. Joe Thune. Well, I guess I'll go Cameron Irving because he's actually even worse. So Cameron Irving is going to come out. Damian Harris is already deep in the bench because we subbed Tavon Austin in for him.
him. And then Jonathan Taylor. That is three 80 to 88 overall players. And we're going to get one of our choice, 90 to 94. And I'm going for a center. I'm not even going to think about this one. I'm going for a center. I want a God tier offensive line to run behind in the playoffs. There is a Rodney Hudson, 93. There's an Eric McCoy, Marquise Pouncey. Wow, these boys are nice. I can get Marquise Pouncey's power up and put the 93 in it and he'll be a 94. I am going to get a 94 center out of this. And there's 93 Marquise Pouncey. I think I can do that. Let's go. Marquise Pouncey up to a 94. Let's go. That really didn't even cost that much. This market is tanked. That was 115,000 coins plus a good amount of training for a 94 overall center. Oh my God. There's so much rests on this, bro. Imagine I lost right now. On Christmas, you'd be watching like episode three of the new season. That'd be horrible. I have to win here. 92 overall offense. We add Will Fuller and Marquise Pouncey. Some offensive threats. Surprisingly, not what I expected to get here, but both amazing grabs. Huge clutch up by the playoffs wheel. Be getting us new stuff. 90, 93, 94, 92, 91. An amazing offensive line. That gets me going, dude. And the challenge wheel is extra important right now. As you guys know, if I complete the challenge wheel in the playoffs, I can get any of the training store packs as well. We need a 20 plus yard pitch back. Ah, I completed this on the final play, the final second, the last time I got it. Wild card playoff game. Let's go boys. And a 20 plus yard pitch back. If I'm winning, I'll try a hook and ladder. Or if I get an interception, I will. Thief of light. You spelled thief wrong, but that's all right. James Robinson, Jabril Peppers, and DK versus a 97 Cam and a 94 Lamar. The Lamar did not have a skate artist. Did I see that correctly? I actually kind of like that. I'm really scared of those skate artist quarterbacks. I love playing in the Saints Stadium, dude. It has this feeling. It has this playoffs feeling, honestly. Very much unlike Ford Field, where I just feel like a Lions fan, and I just don't like that. No money spent, bro. Go away. Dude, these dudes, there's no way. He has roaming dead eye, quick draw, and pass lead elite. I'm, I am gotta say I'm shocked that he doesn't have a skate artist, but hey, maybe he just wants to make the good calls, the good play calls, yeah? Oh, Kamara's gonna be open. First and 10, it might be read option. No. I see Kamara again on the shake hat back corner route. He's not gonna throw anything. He's just gonna get sacked. That's that route I'm always going for. Montez Sweat in the QB spy. Let's see what he goes for here. Throws one quick underneath to Devin Hester, but that's a third and 10. Play action. Crosser left is open. Crosser left is so open. Hate that play, dude. First and 10. I'm sending a blitz. Get him to make a mistake. Get him to make a mistake. That's a what? Oh my God, that could have been a pick. Oh, that could have been a pick. Thank God we have Montez Sweat in a moment like this, dude. Not in the playoffs. Do that in regs. Do that when you're zero and zero. Oh, let's go, baby. Will Fuller's over there on an island. He looks like he's got a hot blitz dialed up. What the fuck? How did Cam Chancellor play that? What? That got to be so fast. That was a slant and Cam Chancellor came under it. 97 Cam Chancellor makes a huge play. I think I've turned the ball over my first drive in like all of my last few games. Uh, there is an open man. That was a fucking pick. He, that, that was not the open man. He threw to the not open man. Underneath, easy tackle. Let's hold him to a field goal. Playing really good defense right now. Come on, throw a pick, throw a pick. I know how badly you want to. Play action. Let's go! Simmons has got it, I'm taking this out. Yes, sir! Get past the 20. I might have gotten one additional yard or four less. Either way, great, great goal line stop right there. And he gets an encroachment. Trying to do these cheese blitzes. Darren Waller should be open. Holy fuck. That Cam Chancellor is going to ruin my day. Possibly a Metcalf touchdown. Is the safety go? It does. Let's see if uh, Robinson's open. I don't think I'm going to be able to use this against him like too much. Because this guy's definitely pretty good. Dude, he is in the backfield so fucking fast. That wasn't even a blitz. Oh my God. Third and four. Let's go, boys. Did you just fucking run commit? He just ran commit. And he's not going to get it. James Robinson, let's go. He is up in my grill, dude. Great block by Robert Hunt. He got out there, but James Robinson can't run through his tackler. I'm looking for Robinson. See if he can get there. Oh, he is. He is. He is. He is. Great play! Let's go! Shake hat back corner, keeping us alive. 
Oh, he tried to stay on Will Fuller, but he wasn't fast enough. Let's go, Will Fuller. Welcome to the team, buddy. Low-key, James Robinson has not been breaking a lot of tackles. I know I'm not playing perfect with him or anything. He just isn't breaking the tackles I kind of expect him to. First and goal, he's on camp chances. He's like, break this one. Well, he went low. Derrick Henry wouldn't have broke that either. He went low. Let's go, J-Rob. I see you, buddy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, J-Rob. He's in. Just barely. He got tackled there again, dude. I don't know. It's kind of a cock tease, bro, because I did all this work to power up this James Robinson, and I kind of feel like he hasn't been it. But either way, I don't want to talk shit about him because he made a clutch catch. And you know what? Most of those yards right there were him. So 7-0 to in our first playoff game. We do get the ball half. We can pretty much put this, put it away. We can be in such a good position if we get a stop here. Play action? Yep. Oh, look at the screamer. Getting on Lamar. Too fast for him to make the throw. Great play. Heaves one. Oh, shit. Curtis Samuel fucking dusted Jalen Ramsey. Jalen Ramsey's got burnt on back-to-back -back games. I am low-key perfectly fine with that. Ooh, going for two. I love this. What you got, buddy? What you got? This playoff football. I really respect this. Step up and get Lamar. Oh, he throws back across and there's a man wide open. The two point is good. Eight to seven. I don't mind this at all. Wow. Okay, maybe I'm on this because I don't actually know how to stop this. If it's like a perfect kick or whatever. Okay. Jabril is going to grab it easy. Got a minute 17 just to get a little field goal. This is the very hot blitz. DK Metcalf absolutely torches his man. I'll throw a few things that could potentially be a touchdown. Just kind of chunk our way back up there. But nothing crazy. Okay. Okay, J-Rob. I see you. And he's out of bounds at the 15. Great catch by Darren Waller. We've got timeouts. We can get a touchdown here. Go for the inside zone, J-Rob. Yup. Oh. Oh, he fucking lit somebody up. But he did it on the wrong angle. He's seen this a few times. Let's see if he's going to adjust to it. This is the stretch. He's not going to adjust to it. And the stretch! James Robinson with one second on the clock. We have a five-point lead. I'll just PAT this. James Robinson, halfback stretch, two touchdowns. You gotta love it, dude. I'm so glad I was patient and looked. He's onside kicking again. Start this half. Apparently, there's a way you can do this and, like, get it pretty consistently. But, uh, hopefully our boys will just clutch up. Yeah, big clutch. Big clutch, Metcalf. He's not in that strong blitz. I'm gonna take James Robinson. We're gonna go for this right here. Yes, sir. Dude, what the fuck is with his D-lineman? It looks like there's a massive hole and they just shed it as soon as I get there. I'm not giving up on it. I'm not giving up on the run game. Let's go. Inside zone. He pulled Cam Chancellor all the way out of there. James Robinson breaks the tackle. Oh my God. Look at this blitz. Josh Allen, easy pass down to Will Fuller. And let's go. His onside kicks are getting him in trouble right now. I am already in scoring range. We're going to run down a little bit of clock here. Stretch it out to the left again. And he is just... This is a nightmare for him. The st he cannot handle the stretch. Let's go. 12 rushes, 63 yards, and two touchdowns for James Robinson. I mean, he knows what I'm doing, but can he stop it? I'm going to go left side with this. Get up there, James Robinson. That's what I'm talking about. That's why we upgraded you, baby. Cam Chancellor is so far out of position. Let's go! James Robinson for his third. Three touchdowns. James Robinson, what a savage. What was my challenge? What was my challenge? I completely forgot. Yeah, I'll go for two here. I'm diving right up the middle. James Robinson has been everywhere so far this game. That was a crazy animation. He got lucky there. That was kind of open. He's going to throw right here. Dude, Quinn and Williams is low-key about to get a pick. I'm on this one, which is really good. There's a left side route that's very open, though. I'm going on the quarterback this time. Ooh, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Ooh, I didn't even need to. Oh, great play, boys. Cannot get toasted deep. That's the only touchdown he's got is that absolute burner deep. Get there! Jabril! I think Jabril just iced this game. What a diving. What was my challenge, real challenge? We just got a rage go wheel spin, which is huge. But what was my challenge? Did I complete it? I don't even remember. 
Oh, it was a 20 plus yards pitch back. Damn, I could have done it. I could have done it, but he rage quit. So obviously I don't get the opportunity. Regardless, a dub is a dub. Two more wins in the playoffs. Wild card is locked in. That is back-to-back -back rage quits. And our last rage wheel spin was an incredible one, a 93 jackpot. So let's see what this one can sauce us. Team is damn good. So I don't know, really know how you're gonna how you're gonna clutch us up here, but I will take whatever you got. <gasps> Oh shit, oh my God. I thought we were gonna get Timo Jack, but we gotta steal a player. What's his top three, bro? He had Cam Chancellor, which I actually can't get. Hit hey, Lamar. Okay, I went back and looked at the footage. His top three was Cam Chancellor, Alvin Kamara, Lamar Jackson. So I'm gonna go with the 94 Alvin Kamara as my steal of player. He is really good. It's just like, I am not going away from James Robinson. I guess if James Robinson gets tired in any of the next games, we'll have an incredible backup. And I also feel better about Kamara than I do about Tavon Austin. Tavon Austin to me is just a walking fumble. He's so small, he's just gonna get cracked. Huge dub, scary dub, but a huge dub. But we're 92 overall. We added Kamara, we added Marquise Powell, we had a Will Fuller. In two days, you will see the divisional. We get a big dub here with a rage quit. We got the divisional, the conference, and then the Super Bowl on Christmas, which is incredible. I uh, I think I timed that out, right? Maybe I didn't, but no matter what, I'm guaranteeing you an absolute super heat banger on Christmas Day. I love you, boys. Thanks for watching, as always. Another banger in the books, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.